As a part-time student with a full-time job, I need to be efficient with my study workflow. I use Obsidian as my main tool for capturing notes and creating questions for Anki. I've been reluctant to use AI with my Obsidian Vault as I'm worried about losing my ideas and letting incorrect information into the vault. But with Google's Notebook LM AI, I thought I'd test its features with my current study notes to see if it will help me improve my learning technique and helping me to engage with my notes in a new innovative way. In this video, I'll talk about how I'm using my Obsidian Notes with Notebook LM. Five features of Notebook LM that I use in my study flow and how you can set it up yourself. By the end of the video, you can decide if Notebook LM can actually help your study process. Let's get started. Right now, my process is pretty straightforward. I take notes from lectures, books, and handouts, then organize everything in Obsidian, and then I create questions and answers to upload into Anki. It's a system that works, but I'm always looking for ways to make it smoother and more efficient. That's where Google's Notebook LM comes in. I've been playing around with the idea of integrating it into my workflow, and here's my progress so far. I use Obsidian's Advanced Merge Community plugin to pull all my notes together into one markdown file. The plugin is easy to set up and if you have different folders with different notes you just need to ensure include nested folders is activated. Once set up I right click on the folder with my notes and select merge folder to generate a single markdown note. Once created I upload it to Notebook LM. Once it's in Notebook LM I start using notes with other textbook files, websites, and YouTube videos. Remember to press like if you found this video useful. Let me share some of the helpful features of Notebook LM I use for studying. As a student, I used to feel completely buried under all the stuff I had to keep up with, recommended readings, assignments, and breaking down complex concepts. My process was manual, highlighting key points in books, downloading YouTube transcript notes, and hoping I'd remember the most important bits later. It worked, but it was exhausting and left me with almost no time to actually think about what I was learning. With Notebook LM, I can upload my highlights, worksheets, and links to YouTube videos straight into it. Then instead of manually sifting through everything, I can just ask it questions like, what are the key points in the handout? Or what's the main takeaway from this lecture? Notebook LM pulls out concise summaries with all the important items key points, definitions, insights, so I can focus on understanding the material instead of getting lost in it. I was worried I would lose context, but it seems to be helping me learn concepts quicker. Next, let's look at why I'm confident using Notebook LM compared to other AI systems. One thing I always enjoyed about using Obsidian is how easy it is to link back to my source notes when I'm creating new permanent notes. It's such a simple but powerful way to keep everything connected and make sure my ideas are grounded on reliable sources. That's where Notebook LM benefits me, by providing citations in its AI-generated responses. So if I ask it something like, what are the types of reasoning in AI? It not only gives me a clear, useful answer, but also links directly back to the original document where the info came from. At the end of the day, Notebook LM doesn't just save me time. It gives me confidence that the answer is correct, but sometimes it does not give the citations, and this is where I worry that it is making something up. I have to check it myself by asking where it got its answer from. When you are unfamiliar with the topic or still learning, you have to be on guard and validate that Notebook LM is telling you the right answer. But what about when you are stuck and can't figure something out? The next feature helps to break down complex concepts. I used to get stuck on the tougher parts of my courses. It would take me forever to break things down and actually understand them. That's why I started using Notebook LM as it's designed to make sense of complex documents, whether it's research papers, textbooks, or long reports. And it does it so much faster than I could ever do on my own. Here's how I've been using it. I started asking specific questions like, how do various AI learning paradigms differ in their approach to knowledge acquisition? Notebook LM breaks it all down into simple, clear points that actually make sense. What's even better is that it doesn't just give me an answer. It shows me how everything connects. Plus, it cites the original text. So if I want to dig deeper or double check, it's all right there. I don't feel intimidated by tough topics anymore. Instead, I feel ready to dive in and figure them out. Once your notes are there, Notebook LM has great many features to help you get the most out of them. 
Back when I was creating my own study guides and questions and answers for Anki, it felt like a never-ending process. I spent hours to capture key concepts, define terms, and come up with practice questions for space repetition. Now I leave it to Notebook LM to do the heavy lifting. One of my favorite features is the study guide creator. For example, when I was prepping for exam, I uploaded a lecture notes on the subject. Notebook LM quickly pulled everything together in a clear study guide. I also love the FAQs feature. It came up with potential exam questions like what are the key difference between breadth first search and depth first search but i prefer to use the prompt to generate the questions in a format i need to load into anki this is the prompt i'm using at the moment it's based on my obsidian anki structure subscribe for an updated video on that i run the prompt and notebook lm does its magic i check the questions and answers against the citations to make sure it makes sense and is valid I save the questions as a note in Notebook LM. I then copy it into Obsidian Anki Question Bank. I clean it up a bit and run the Anki plugin to load the questions. If you're looking for a way to save time and focus on exam prep, Notebook LM is 100% worth a try. But what if you want a new perspective of your notes on the go? The next feature helps with just that. I used to rely on my commute to squeeze in extra study time. I scroll through my notes on my phone during the ride into work, trying to review concepts while tuning out the noise around me. It wasn't the worst system, but it definitely wasn't the most efficient. One of Notebook's LM's unique features is the ability to generate audio summaries and podcast style discussions from my notes. Once the notes are loaded in, you can ask it to create an audio overview. After a few minutes, there is an audio file that you can download and play. It created a podcast style dialogue between two virtual hosts, breaking the material down in a way that felt way more engaging and fun to listen to. Now, instead of staring at a screen during my commute, I just pop in my headphones and listen to my study materials. I think the conversational format gives a new perspective in a way that reading notes never did. Even though I'm skeptical of AI in studying, Google Notebook LM has shown me that they are features that will help in my study of workflow. It has a warning which says Notebook LM can be inaccurate Please double check its responses as a reminder to be careful. But I think if you use it as a learning tool, it can benefit you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep optimizing and stay practical.